Wherever you are watching us, at home or at your office, a very warm welcome for all of us, for all of you, from all of us here at the Baden-Württemberg Landesvertretung in Berlin, where in the last two years we had two Berlin AI conferences, and this one is the first one which is only and unfortunately only virtual. But we know that you are out there and eagerly watching what we will outline in the next days to come, from Monday to Friday. And this, uh, I think, is an extraordinary lineup of philo philosophers, of pundits from the industry, from business, and from all walks of life who will try to introduce you to AI, which, as we all know, is one of the most important topics of today and tomorrow. My name is Rüdiger Lenz, and I'm the Aspen Institute director, and we are, together with other organizers, mainly sort of behind all this when we started three years ago. And when we started this AI conference session, we didn't know very much about it. That was early on. But we, from day one, tried to con connect the dots between all the different subjects which AI incorporates from the role of China and its future impression on the world, from the different uh, future of labor impacts AI will have, from cyber threats and cyber security, all of the topics which we will try to discuss in the next days to come. Today, at our third AI conference, we are trying to focus on the great economic acceleration and how this will affect humanities, and the future of work. This topic is especially important for Germany and Germans because there is still a lot of anxiety about the future impact of AI on labor and our social and economic structures. We all know that unfortunately Germany is lagging behind in the digital transformation process and all its applications. So this conference comes at a crucial juncture where we have to see what lessons have to be learned from the impacts of COVID and its acceleration to our topic and how to integrate AI into our future policies, objectives, and how Europe and especially Germany can catch up with the two leading superpowers in AI, the United States of America and China. Let me also make some housekeeping, short housekeeping remarks. We all have part, we will have part of the conference in German. Today we are starting with all in English, but the German parts will be translated in English and all other events from now on will also happen in English. And I have also to thank our sponsors because without them we wouldn't have the possibility to make this conference possible. Again, the Heinz and Heide Dürr Foundation the representation of Baden-Württemberg, the Friedrich Naumann Foundation, Microsoft, Google, Dell, NNVGL, as well as our media partners, Tagesspiegel, Internationale Politik, IP, Internationale Politik, Waterley, IPQ, and our media partners, uh, as well as all of, our, of you who are joining us out there and making this story possibly happen. Please, you can watch us on the hashtag AspenAI20. You can also watch us on our live stream and via um, Zoom. And you can also use the Q&A function if you want to put any questions to speakers or the panelists. And now, with no further ado, it is my great pleasure to introduce to you the representative State Secretary André Baumann from Baden-Württemberg, who is joining us from Stuttgart, but he has a backdrop always showing wherever he is, it is the Baden-Württembergische Senatsvertretung in Berlin. As Secretary of State in the Ministry of Environment, Climate Protection and the Energy Sector in Baden-Württemberg, he has a lot to do with digital transformation, like all of Baden-Württemberg, a land, a land in Deutschland which is very much connected and also dependent on the transformation process from what we have known over the last decades as industry to 
AI and digital driven future. So Andre, the floor is yours and thank you for hosting us here at your premises in Berlin. Thank you so much. Thank you. Dear Mr. Lance, dear Mr. Durham, ladies and gentlemen, even though I would really have liked to welcome you personally here at the Baden-Württemberg State Representation in Berlin, I think it fits today's topic very well that we are meeting virtually. <coughs> Although the corona pandemic poses huge challenges to politics, society, and the economy, these challenges bring huge along huge opportunities. Even before the crisis, it was already clear that digitization and artificial intelligence will have a major impact on our society, our working environment, and our everyday life in the next decades. The pandemic is and will remain a catastrophe, but we have to recognize that the crisis has acted as a catalyst for digitization. One year ago, who would have thought that working from home and video conferencing like today would be part of everyday work? Who would have thought that um, intensive care units would be distributed digitally or that we installed the Corona warning apps on our smartphones? It's very clear that these developments aren't exclusively positive. Every advance brings new challenges. Not every break on AI have been released in the past six months. Mediation and dialogue have become even more important this year so that no one is left behind. I'm therefore all the more blessed, Mr. Lenz, that the Aspen Institute's AI conference this year once again provides a platform for nonpartisan exchange and joint analysis for regional and global challenges in order to contribute to a common solution. The state representation of Baden-Württemberg is pleased to be part of this important task. Ladies and gentlemen, digitization and artificial intelligence, intelligence play a key role in our current situation. The paths we are taking today to overcome the COVID pandemic will continue to have a significant impact on our everyday lives, even once the crisis is over. In Baden-Württemberg, we are very proud that we are able to establish internationally competitive structures at an early stage, thanks to your IE strategy. It's important that we have a holistic approach. That means excellent um, research and the promotion of urgently needed young scientists. Baden-Württemberg has been developing a cyber valley since 2016. This is the largest research consortium in Europe for AI. The universities of Stuttgart and Tübingen, the Max Planck Society, and international companies such as Bosch, Daimler, and Amazon work together. In this eco ecosystem, companies and startups can quickly transfer research into practice. The federal government has recognized the relevance of AI research as well, and has once again expanded and consolidated the federal funding for its five AI competence centers starting from 2022. One of these centers is located in Tübingen. As a representative of Baden-Württemberg, I'm also proud of the high level of attention that our scientists and researchers can attract with the Cyber Valley project. After all, this unique research environment attracts the bright minds of tomorrow our doctoral program in Cyber Valley recently attracted a record number of first-class applications. However, despite our achievements in recent years, it's also clear that we need to further develop and position ourselves even better in order to continue to contribute to these important future technologies. For example, we have established numerous 
new professorships. The AI Pro Baden Württemberg program alone has produced 10 new junior professorships at Baden Württemberg universities. These universities have in turn adapted their research and training, set new research priorities, and offered new academic courses. However, it's clear that despite this tremendous progress that we made in our federal state, the step into the age of AI can only succeed it through a joint international effort. Ecocentric national initiatives it cannot be the answer. We need joint research and development, regular exchange, coordinated European and international IA strategies, and the expansion of European and transatlantic cooperation. It's just an impo as important that we do not forget about our common values while building our digital future. We must address and discuss the ethical implications of AI research. It's crucial for the implementing digitization and IE technology that will benefit all of us. That is why I'm very blessed that we are bringing together key players from politics, business, science, and society this week in order to discuss the entire range of these challenges. The joint development of ideas and the sector spanning expertise are the basic prerequisites to shape tomorrow's policy on digitization and artificial intel intelligence successfully. This applies to Baden-Württemberg, this applies to Germany, and without a doubt, also applies worldwide. Thank you, and have an exciting event. Thank you very much. Thank you, Andre Baumann, and having myself mentioned the digital gap in Germany, it is good to hear that there are some regions, especially in Baden-Württemberg, with our centers of excellence and hotspots of the digital transformation. Thank you for much, so much for enlightening us. And now I have the special honor and pleasure to introduce to you Heinz Dürr, chairman of the Heinz and Heide Dürr Foundation, and for three years, the major sponsor of this AI series of conferences. For all of you, who know about the industrialization of Germany and the important decades after the Second World War, he is a leading figure of the industrial sort of success story of the so-called German miracle. He was chairman of the board, uh, he was board member of Daimler AG. He was chairman of the RAG. He was also on the board of the Deutsche Bahn AG. AG. All sort of core and leading industrial elements of Germany. And he is, as he himself calls himself an analog man, very much interested in the digital process and trying to know what this process will bring to industry as well as to labor. He is and was one of the driving forces behind this conference series. So thank you very much, Mr. Dürr. Heinz, the floor is your, and I can thank you as much as we need to. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you very much, uh, Rüdiger. Uh, thank you also, Mr. Baumann. Now, hello to everybody. Uh, did my Mr. Lenz and Mr. Baumann have explained what the conference is, so I can make it very short. Uh, I remember very well, Rüdiger, when we discussed in 2017, the first time, what should we do with Aspen in Berlin? And we found out that digitalization and AI is an important subject and Aspen could be a very good platform and, that, and apparently it happens. Uh, I heard uh, about a gap of digitalization uh, from Mr. Baumann and from Rüdiger. Uh, I have to say, uh, in the Dürr company, where I am a uh, main shareholder, uh, we have no gap. We are working very much in AI. We uh, control our plants, our installations, 
we detect uh, the quality, we detect the quality, the failures instead of detecting them in long and experienced procedures, procedures that are based on analog data as well as on trial and error process. So it's working in, in the industry in Germany, especially in Baden-Württemberg. Uh, today you are discussing, or for the next three days, you are discussing uh, the impact of AI to labor structure on economy and on, on further globalization. Globalization without digitalization and artificial intelligence is not possible. A main driver in this field in AI is China, and this we have to keep in mind. And I hope you also will leave in, on these discussions. So there are a lot of opportunities. You will discuss them in the next four days or five days, even five days. So it's a long time and I hope you still, even with that uh, virtual conference, you will have a full success. I wish you all the best and once more, best full success for, on the conference.